Good morning everyone, Audrey here from Pandemonium. It is a beautiful day here by the water. There is supposed to be a launch today, so I'm gonna try to capture that. But we tried to capture a launch uh, the other day and it was at night. It didn't look very good, just a big blob of light in the sky. So hopefully today's better. What is that? What is that? What is that? Huh? What is it? Moment's like, I'm not getting near that thing. Oh, Jeff found a horseshoe crab. It's just that old shell on the shore. Are y'all gonna come check it out? Huh? No? Not interested? Mm -hmm. Looks like a monster. <laughs> it's gonna eat your face off. Oh my god, this place is completely packed. The van meetup just ended, so and it goes all the way down there. Just tons of people here to see the launch. Crazy, I say it's crazy. But hopefully this one, like I said, will be visible and nice to watch. Oh, that thing is, that's dangerous right there. Spiky, spiky, Mumu. Mm. Want to smell it, huh? Woo! <laughs> yeah, get it, get it. Yeah, get it, get it, get it, get The water's so peaceful today. The launch is supposed to be over there. Hello, are you in the bushes? So when it goes up, it's supposed to go this way. Uh, towards us? Kind of in, in the first stage, when it separates, uh -huh. it does a flip maneuver and lands back over on ground over there. The, the first half, or the... We won't be able to see the landing, but you might be able to see the burn of it. There it goes. Nice. Here, can you hold that for a second? I'll just hold this. Let me focus on this. like a little light in the sky. From our tracking team here around Central Florida. In this view from our friend Chuck Briggs. Let's listen the roar of those nine Merlin engines. I can hear it. Oh, yeah. that's on your phone. Yeah, well, it kind of comes this way. See, it's banking to the left. It kind of goes up out, just off the coast. Gone up way you can't see it anymore. At this point, it's just falling. The first stage, but uh -huh. then, then they'll they'll do a burn. I've never been here in person to see something like that, so that was cool. Five it's seconds. Like a big tube. Oh, it's landing in five seconds. This there is. Oh, there it is. The first there half. I don't know if you can see that. Oh, it's way over there. I thought yeah. it was going to be back at the and launch the pad. Landing burn. There it goes. You should hear a sonic boom as it's coming back in. Let's listen and watch it. And it landed. Yeah. I didn't hear a sonic boom. <laughs> okay, well, that is it. That's all we're gonna see. I mean, it was kind of exciting. I think um, all the rigs here was more exciting than the actual launch. That was the tenth time they've reused the first stage. Yeah, and we just, I, did, I didn't have the camera on. The sonic boom just came, it took that long. Got a new one of these. The safety alerts, it's the monoxide detector, and also propane, along with uh, low battery. And once it starts going bad, it does that. It'll beep, 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 beep. I have to replace it now, because they say at the end of its life, you can't reset it, it just keeps on beeping, and that way you know it just has to be replaced. So luckily we got a new one, and I need to go ahead and pull that out and put in the new one and replace it. 
which means I might have to take this picture down. I do. But luckily, it's only double sided taped. Yep, see, there's no reset button. Nope, can't reset it. The double green and the double red mean it's at its end of its life. Okay. I'm gonna turn off the power, but I want the light first. Should be fairly easy. It's only two wires, I believe. Yep. There they go. So I just have to get connectors and replace that. I have the new connectors and also the wire crimper. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this. Oh, jeez. Oh. Okay. Maybe you just rip it open. No? Well. Okay. Yeah. Alright. So. Here is the new unit. Just uh, plug and play. Even though it's only 12 volt, I'm gonna cut the power off. But I have the blue ones there. Yeah, the blue ones are the next size up. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think they are a little larger than the red. So I was gonna do all this, but Jeff said he would, wouldn't mind doing it. So I hold the camera and the light. So. The color blue. Right, so this is the negative. Right, white is negative. Okay. It's be... You might be able to deal with it if it was a softer beat, but it's such a loud squealing beat that definitely. Oh, okay, maybe that is it then. It's amazing to have proper tools for this. Okay, it's ready to be installed. He just stripped more of the wires because, I, I, in my opinion, they don't ever strip enough. There's just a little bit. Good to go. It's definitely a warm day today. Yeah, it's nice. It's, it's a beautiful day. Beautiful, beautiful. Okay, and that's it. We can cut the power on. Definitely want to test it first. So power back on. I didn't hear a beep. Awesome. Well, I guess I could go either way. Okay, green light means go, so we can the wires back in and then mount that then I'll put the screws back in take me just a second ta-da now this is the like I said propane is, is it a two as well yeah okay well, yeah. oh it, carbon monoxide carbon dioxide. Dioxide. right and then because um, the oxide is lighter right and it's also yeah. propane though it's propane. Carbon monoxide is just CO. Right. CO2 is carbon dioxide. And also, it is the low battery. And we are done. Oh, thanks for your help. I've owned the rig four years. It's a 2018, so I doubt they changed it. So it's about five years old. That's just usually what they last. So see that raccoon? Kellogg just chased it out of the tree. It was, it almost attacked him. Luckily, Jeff had him on a leash so he could pull him back. That's not it. Oh, there's, there's more. There's a baby one right there. Smaller. Huh. Oh, it's a teeny tiny one.
Do you see them? Yeah. Yeah, there's two of them there. There's two babies and there's a mom somewhere. Oh, there's two babies? Yeah, you see the two. So the one's coming down, but there, look at the top of the tree up here. Where? Oh, yeah. See, oh, right in the middle, yeah. There's, there's the mom right there. Yeah. She's just protecting her babies. So, yeah, keep Kellogg away. <laughs> Did you? They're in a yeah, they have stingrays in a little pond. Oh, wow. You can just, just walk over there and... It's like a stingray playground. Literally. Yeah. Oh, look at that one. That's cool. This is spotty. So they're not aggressive. No, these ones aren't aggressive unless you like, when we put them in the bucket, they were just scared, but no. Right. Not really, you could pet them. They don't them. have the long tail yet. Nope, we found a long tail one, but he was way too big to put in here. Oh, wow. We saw him earlier. But you can put this one that's um under this. Okay. Well, he won't okay. care because he's under this. See him all? Oh, yeah. Ooh, the, ooh, a, watch your purse. Yeah, wet. they're slimy. Your purse got wet. Oh, that's okay. See, all the bottom. Lucky. Yeah, they're yeah. really slimy. After the launch, camp kind of cleared out a bit. Not as packed. We're going to go down the road a little bit because there's something we want to check out. So I thought I'd take y'all along. Are you trying to get those raccoons, bad boy? Mm -hmm. I know, you want to play with them. They did not want to play with you. Well, yeah, I mean, and they could have rabies, so. Although, usually, if they had rabies, they would be rapid and yeah. foaming at the mouth, and they would literally try to attack you. So she was just guarding her babies. So along this shore here, isn't it where the horseshoe crabs? There are just hundreds of them that have died for some reason. We can. This is actually not where we're taking you, but it is a little thing that we want to see. Right when you get into the refuge. Here? Oh, look at They painted that cement block. Oh, they got them all painted. Oh, that's pretty. Alright, we can just park here. So I'm not sure why they're dying off. Uh, it could be getting too cold. Help protect horseshoe crabs, limiting this beach to foot traffic only. So no campfires, or no camping, no fires. Pack your trash out and keep it clean. So yeah, look at, they're just littered all over the beach. Wow. That one still has, like the one we got, didn't have the actual crab still in there. Huh. Aw. Maybe it's mating season or something and they lay their eggs and die. Like oh, this. could be. That is a good point. Wow, look at all the ones here. I don't know, it looks like they got washed ashore though. So I thought maybe the cold, they got too cold, but Jeff just thinks that, you know, after mating that, you know, they die. No. That looks like part of the coral reef. It's like they mainly get washed up in the grass and stuff, or the vegetation on high tide. Don't see a lot of them on the beach, but there are tons of them, yeah, in the vegetation. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two. Well, that's a big one. Twenty-three, twenty-four. There's just a lot of them. Wow, look how big and massive that one is right there. Oh, Kellogg, a lizard. Yeah, that one's massive. Look at Momo, it's bigger than you are. Can you find more? Oh, see, I think the seagulls will probably come in and clean these up. Maybe. I would think. That one still has the crab in it. Okay, go. Oh. Good girl. This is part of the wildlife refuge. It's a big circle. Maybe we'll see some alligators, but this is still not the place that I want to take you. We're coming up to Gator Creek. 
I just think they're probably hibernating. Yeah. They're, well, they don't really hibernate. They go into, uh, what is that called? Snakes do it too. I, I forget what the term is, but what is that? Uh, is that a duck? Oh, it's a duck. Never mind. Yep, no alligators. Definitely off season. They have these little pull-offs. You can just come and hang out, which is cool. Yeah, there's a, a another road that goes across, I guess, and then there's the other side, like Jeff was saying. You can see there's a vehicle over there. This is brackish waters. Mixture of sea salt and fresh water. Yeah, just ducks. It's beautiful. Oh, what's that? I just saw something dive down. Maybe it was a duck diving down. Oh yeah, it's probably a duck because there's a, another duck there. I'm sure if it's an alligator, they'd be gone. Oh, yeah, yeah, just popped out. See, people use it for fishing. Guess this would be a nice fishing spot. Wow. It's pretty long. The Welcome Center is somewhere over there, isn't it? Yeah, there's a... I think there's another entrance. There's actually multiple entrances here. And the Welcome Center, you can go and get information. Oops, this person's going the wrong way. This is supposed to be one way. There's more waters on this side here. This seems more overgrown on this side. There's an opening. Nope, no alligators. Yeah, just a bunch of duckies. Not too far from here was a nature walk that we did. It went on the other channel and it was beautiful there. Wild oranges were growing. So if you wanna check that out uh, in the description or at the end of the um, video, I'll link it. Oh, this is pretty extensive. I didn't know there was all this back here. It's not free? You have to pay like five bucks. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah, this is the sport. But Jeff does have the the pass. What pass is it? Just the, you know, the $80 annual interagency pass. Or okay. The, you know, the free ones you get when you get older. Well, there's the other road that goes to the other side. Okay, now we're going to go ahead and head to that spot that I want to take y'all. It's only about five miles away. That's pretty nice for just five bucks for day use. Right, Catnog? Right? Yes. You raccoon chaser. The nature walk we did is back in this area. Look at all the ponds. It's a beautiful walk. Oh, really? What, you don't like the raccoon and alligators? So they have another wildlife drive here. Did they see something? How much is that? Do you know? It's part of it. Oh, it's part of the other loop? Yeah, it comes out of here. Okay, so $5 in for the day and gets both of them? Nice. That's awesome. We might have to take that drive on the way back, maybe. Okay, we're going over the drawbridge now, and I believe it's on the other side. There's parking down there, too. No, there's parking. Oh, okay. Drawbridge. Oh, it's way down there at the yeah. entrance. Okay, so this was more like nine miles. We thought it was five, but you had to make a turn and then it was an additional four miles after the five. Oh, okay, so this is actually a specific manatee observation deck. But they said they're a lot more than usual. Didn't you look it up online? Well, the ones I saw, there were more than usual around the Gulf Coast. I don't know where this one is. Oh, okay. But this is a specific manatee spot. Look, Kellogg, somebody has their kitty cat. There's a meow meow right there. No, wrong way. <laughs> He's looking. See the cat? <gasps> there, now you see it. 
Kitty, kitty. Kitty, kitty. Welcome to Manatee Observation Deck. It says, please stay on the deck. Do not feed or water the manatees. No fishing. Here's some information about Holliver Canal. I don't know if you can see that. If you want to pause and read. They stay a while. Sometimes they come, you know, every 15 minutes. Well, we don't see any yet, but there are quite a few people here. So it's not a very long deck. We move down to this side over here. That way is the Atlantic Ocean, and they usually swim in here for warmer waters because it's shallow, Jeff was telling me and that leads inland. Oh, there's someone kayaking. Oh, what was that? Fish or something. No manatees, but jumping fish. <laughs> well, this is a neat little lagoon here. It was really busy when we first got here, but it's cleared out. And they do say online that you have to be patient if you want to see them. I think two other people besides us are the only ones left. Pelicans. No manatees yet. Okay, we're just gonna sit on the bench and be patient. At least they have a bench here. They have two benches. It's a beautiful day to just sit and relax for a little bit. Come on, come on. Can I get here? Good girl. Good girl. Oh, look at There's a manatee. <laughs> oh, look at that bird there. I just landed on that branch. It's just a uh, heron. Great heron. There's a lot of birds flying around here. Pelicans all over the place. Here comes one in now. Oh, oh, no, it turned around. It's like, see ya. Where are you? I saw one. Come on. Was it coming? It was coming this way, wasn't it? Uh, my battery doesn't run out before I see it. So, it didn't look white though. I'm not sure if all manatees are white. What is that? Yeah, see it? No, it's right under the water there. There's something right there under the water. It's a big something. Oh, something just came up over there, I think. gonna see one darn it okay there it was with oh oh was that a dolphin oh we have those at camp oh there's a gator okay we just met some locals okay thank you and they said the manatees usually hang out at the boat launch so we're gonna head over there she said there was like three or four over there, but you have to be careful because there's a gator over there as well. I was like, oh, cool. Two in one. That would be amazing. This is not the boat launch, but I wanted to stop here just to see if we saw anything. Nope. But this is the boat launch right here. Oh, wow, look at the big, huge pelicans. Oh, I saw one. There it is. Oh, it just went under. Oh, there's another one right there. Yay, I'm excited. I thought it was going to be a no-show. They probably hang out here because they're more protected. Yeah, there's one right there, but you can't really see it. Oh. Oh, that was a dolphin. See it? You can... I'll try to zoom in with the camera, but this is a GoPro, so it doesn't do zoom. Oh, yeah, there's like two dolphins. Oh, there goes the pelicans. They're like, we're out. Oh, that was short. Yeah, they're just kind of floating there. Oh, another dolphin. Oh, yeah, and then the, the closer man is here right there. If you walk down a little further, there's a nice size alligator right against the mangrove. So this nice gentleman was just telling us there's a 
pretty big gator by the mangroves. So we're gonna walk down there and see. I don't know if y'all can see that. It's right on the shore over there. Oh, that's a pretty big one. Oh, I should have brought my zoom lens. Huh. So the gator's just lying there. Doesn't look very active right now. I bet they don't eat much in the winter. They definitely need the sun to help digest in the warm weather. Well, I wish the manatees would move closer. They don't really come up out of the water. They're just floating there. There's four of them. Oh, I see it. Did the pelicans catch something? Oh, there was something big there. Oh, oh the dolphins are messing with the pelicans. Oh yeah, they're right by them. Okay, so I'm going to get my camera and see if I can get a better, closer shot of them. Where? Right there. That's a turkey vulture. See the red face? See the turkey vulture? Huh, Kellogg? Oh, it's looking at us. Wow. It's pretty up close. I think this is the closest I've seen one. Oh, oh. It's okay. <laughs> We're not going to get you. Yeah, they have a pretty red face. Another dolphin. I didn't mention who was with the group. We've got Marsha. As so y'all know, there's my rig, Jeff, Dave, and then also Russ has joined us. Speaking of Russ, I believe he said he's gonna do some pulled pork for dinner tonight. That sounds awesome. See the kids released the stingrays. Okay, it's gonna be pulled pork tacos. Marsha made some salad. And is there a different one? Or is this just that's cabbage? The, that's the vegetables that go on top. Okay. Sauteed vegetables, and there's the pulled pork. Ooh, that looks really good. Ooh, it smells great. It does. Ooh, nice salad. Oh, I forgot to bring the right, tongs. The tongy tongs. Yeah. Oh, I forgot my tongs. Sure. We can use the tongs for Marcia both. Marsha forgot her tongs. We can use those for both. Cheese, sour cream, sauce. See that? Ooh, pulled pork taco and some salad. It's very yummy, a little bit on the spicy side, but I did make me one more taco. It was an awesome day today. Good end of the day as well. Well, I want to thank y'all for hanging out with me today. I know, tell me about it. It was an awesome day. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button. And once again, thank you. Hopefully we'll see you in the next video. If you want to check out more videos, they'll be right over here. Or if you want to subscribe or check out Patreon, that'll be right over there. Bye, y'all. Hello, pretty bird. Oh, no. Oh, you're done. <laughs>